In this video lesson, we are going to look at the main difference between an expression and equation when it comes to applying completing the square. So we're going to divide it in two sections and on the left hand side we're going to look at an expression and on the right hand side we will look at an equation. Now just to recap, an expression is a value or um, just a, a number of terms. Um, it can be in terms of a variable and an expression the the goal normally with an expression is basically to perhaps even simplify it or um, just to manipulate it um, in some or another form like we'll do now and an equation uh, or whereas an equation the goal is always to solve for the unknown variable solve for x or or, or b or c right now um, in this case we we can actually apply completing the square in, in both of these. Um, with this, this could be a quadratic uh, function where you want to get the turning point and then you'll have to do um, completing the square on this. And on this case um, also, this could actually also be a quadratic function um, where you um, need to get the, if you solve for x here, uh, you get the, the, the x-intercept. Um, all right, now I'm going to go through these and I would actually um, recommend that you don't watch this before you actually are familiar with um, completing the square first because um, this is not a lesson on how to complete the square. So it might be confusing if you don't know how first. All right, but I'm going to outline the, the similarities and the differences between when you have an expression and when you have an equation. Now, when we have an expression, we normally know that um, when we complete the square, this this coefficient over here, we need to get that out of the way first. So we're going to factorize that. Um, so that's x squared, then plus plus two x minus um, minus four uh, minus four. Yes. All right. And then um, on this side, how do we get rid of of this? Um, we basically first um, this well we can go about it two ways we want to take the 12 over um, so we can decide do we want to take the 12 over first or um, do we want to get rid of the negative 3 so let's um, perhaps just take the 12 over for the first step because that's what we normally do when we solve using um, completing the square um, so negative 12 and then we divide everything with negative 3 Okay, so this will then uh, leave us with x squared plus 2x um, equals, to, equals to 4. So now notice now the difference here. With an expression, you can't get rid of this 3. You just factorize it out and it has to stay there. But with an equation, um, you're allowed to divide what you do on the one side, you can do on the other side. So you're allowed to divide every term with it and it can completely disappear. Okay, now next up, we are going to complete this square. So we have x squared plus 2x then we add 2 over 2 squared and we subtract 2 over 2 squared minus 4 right um, but what do we do with an equation um, we are going to also add the 2 over 2 squared but we are actually going to add it on both sides because that would actually uh, be the equivalent operation uh, whereas when you have an expression to to do something to do the counteract operation you have to add it and then subtract it because this is equal to this is equal to zero so we haven't actually changed the value here if I add um, both uh, the same value on both sides I haven't changed the value um, or the, it's still an equation they're still equal to each other okay so with an expression you have to add and subtract with an equation you add it on both sides all right, and then further on, uh, we are going to group. So we've got x plus 1 squared. And then this is 1, 1 squared, so that becomes negative 5. And yeah, then we just multiply back the negative 3, x plus 1 squared plus 15. Okay, and on this side, um, again, we are going to group these three like we've grouped those three. So we have x plus plus 1 squared and that also simplifies um, to 5 that simplifies to 5 
Now, you might not have done um, solving equations using completing the square. So I'll just shortly um, show you then what you do for the rest of the way um, because we want to get to x. Okay, and um, it's a nice way to solve for it um, without factorization, but you would normally choose f to factorize it rather than completing the square because this is a long method. Um, all right, so then we, we square root both sides. So if I square root both sides, I need to remember that when I square root a number, I have to add plus or minus to it. Uh, these will just cancel. So we have x plus 1 equals to plus or minus square root of 5. And then I take the 1 over. So x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5. So our two roots basically is x equals to uh, minus 1 uh, plus square root of 5 or x is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5. Um, but yes, this is just to explain the main differences when you have to use an e or when you have an expression and when you have an equation.